What a pretty Saturday afternoon we have at the Rock and Bee Horse and Carriage Farm. Uh, just finished up Mamaw's Kitchen and we had a wonderful breakfast today. Um, homemade gravy, biscuits. We made a, uh, Whitney and I perfected our Mornay sauce for our Kentucky Hot Browns and uh, made one. So uh, we have pictures posted now and we'll be having a dinner really soon with that. Uh, this is uh, James. Such a nice day. Um, I don't know what the temperature is, but it feels a lot better today than it did yesterday. And he is uh, plowing the cornfield. We keep one acre of corn here. Uh, we mainly grow field corn for the horses, but we also run a little maze through it. So it's kind of fun to wander through. We make it where you, we just start mowing it. So it's nice and easy to walk through. And um, so anyway, I'm out here with uh, Lacey. Lacey, say hello. Hello. Lacey, there she is. There she is. She'll be out here getting a groundhog or a mole or something soon. So anyway, thought we'd video getting our cornfield ready. What a pretty afternoon it is. This is in the back field. Uh, you're looking at a road just beyond. This is, uh, that road is the Rockfield Church Road that runs on the back side of the farm. And so I'm going to pan around so we know where we're at. All right, and there's the uh, 1950 barn disassembled and ready for using for projects. Or if somebody wants something from it, they're welcome to call us, see if they can find anything for their project, wall, floor, whatever. Now you're going to look at the front of the farm. That is Rich Pond Rockfield Road. Um, we um, just got some gravel laid. We had a pretty wet Christmas in January, so that that farm trail was pretty bad shape. And then uh, we just finished our stall barns, stalls for the horses. Um, be able to finally 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 park our equipment underneath and the horses will have a nice place we have big old draft horses so our 1962 barn those stalls were just almost really not big enough so bless their hearts they were they were kind of crammed in there i guess it kept them warm when it was winter but now um we've got nice big old stalls in there for them and of course if you're watching this and you're not from kentucky we've not had a really bad winter yet last year uh, it was snowing uh, one year ago we've got Valentine's coming up and um, I hope it doesn't run this way as it did last year Valentine's Day last year was a Sunday this year's a Tuesday and the snow was over our knees out here and we took Lacey and some buckets and we come right out in this cornfield because we had we had been so much snow we had not made it picking all of the corn out of it to feed the horses so we were just feeding them you know corn and then putting some back to take it to have it turn into um, feed and we were laughing and saying happy valentine's day ha 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 while we was trying to walk through knee deep snow Okay, so let's see, what do we have here? What do we have here? This is, I'm gonna pan back out. Now you're looking at our foundation set for our 1830s cabin. We had a cabin, cabin <clears throat> excuse me, uh, you could probably say practically given to us for preservation. Uh, we promised that we would put it back up that is our hand-hewn logs underneath that, set up off the ground. And uh, the stone is set as if we are ready to put it up today uh, so that we would know where our perimeter was when we got ready. And we are actually just kind of waiting on some funds. It's gonna cost about 
Well, I think at the most maybe like 3500 to put it back up. And we just don't have an extra 3500 right now, huh? But if you like to see this up, there is a GoFundMe account. And we would love to hear from you. And you would be welcome to come out and eat and watch us and learn about preservation, uh, hand-hewn logs, um, the way it used to be. And um, that would be part of what your gift would be. So now I'm back to James. Um, and Lacey's, Lacey's probably wishing I'd just get off this thing and go get that frisbee and throw it, huh? Yeah. So let's see where James is at on this back stretch here. Walk along. Again, what a beautiful, beautiful day. It's, I don't know if you, some of you are old enough to remember Mr. Rogers. What a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Now I'm on a high point so we can look down. I don't think he can see us yet. We had the best yield yet this year off our corn. So we were not only able not only able to start feeding grain way earlier than normal. We still have grain in the gravity wagon and are ready to go take it to the mill to have it turned into feed, which the horses just love, 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 love. And as a city girl learning about country life, the more you feed them, the better they are. I guess that's the way it holds true to anything, huh? Maybe. Maybe that's kind of true. All right, so here he comes back. This is, uh, this is not our tractor. Our tractor is uh, <coughs> sick. <laughs> this is a borrowed tractor from a friend of ours. And uh, there he goes. There's James waving for the camera. Oh, there we go. This is farm has been in his daddy bought it in 1962, I guess. I think it was 62 and second generation um, family owned farm we've got about six acres here uh, we've got some more adjacent leased and that we hope one day maybe maybe if it works right we can get add that to the farm they probably just get in this and roll around and have a lot of fun with it. Hi. I'm one of these people if I see something that needs to be picked up so I found a piece of board. Go up here and put it in our uh, disposal pile. I guess that might be a good word for it. All right, so now I'm not at another corner of the farm. And there's James.
So we're hoping when we go to the auction in Scottsville, the Mennonite auction, Amish auction, I only went last year for the first time, but it was really, really, really cool. It's like on the side of a mountain somewhere. I think they said 34 years they've been running it. We are really hoping we can get a two-row corn planter, horse drawn, so that we can utilize the draft horses. That's the way we've been. I know he's using a cultivator, but we don't have one, or I'm sorry, a plow. We don't have uh, our other one out for the draft horses right now. And James says, this has got to be turned because it's going to rain. They say it's going to rain. But luckily, even though they said it's going to rain every day this past week, it didn't. So it was really nice to let the ground uh, dry up and us to get out here to get our Christmas down. So you're... You may not know about this, but we have a Christmas. Horse-drawn carriage rides through the entire farm. $5 a person. And, you know, we throw up about 100,000 plus lights. And we make all these homemade displays. And you know, it's not fancy, but it's, it's, it's nice. We have a lot of kids, wonderful kids that help us. Um, and they're welcome to make their own displays also. So, you know, whatever they want to make or theme they want to do that they think would be fun to do or that the public would enjoy seeing, that's what we work on. We were honored that we had two different families come out here when we were working on the Christmas one is a divorced father 